What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap. We just had our two-year anniversary, and we're already back at it with a Friday Night SmackDown. How you doing, man? Oh, yeah. Go check out that uh, video. I'm doing good, dude. So it's the Royal Rumble tonight. So last night was SmackDown. Um, I think it was a great go-home show for SmackDown. Um, one thing I'm pissed about is people introducing themselves into the Royal Rumble. I want WWE to leave it as a surprise, and you will see later tonight why I am pissed about that, because it happened more than once. But uh, without further ado... SmackDown kicks off with the SmackDown Women's Champion, the Queen, Charlotte Flair, um, kicking off the show in Kansas, bringing up Patrick Mahomes, of course, in the Kansas City Chiefs football team who cannot bring a championship to the city. So Charlotte had to. So I oh, kind of like kind of got the crowd heated. But then bringing up the Rumble as Shayna um, Baszler interrupts Valen to snap the Queen at the Rumble. I thought that was the end of the segment, kind of them two just bickering back and forth. But Aaliyah, then Italia, and then Shotzi Blackheart, um, all interrupt bickering till the boss, Sasha Banks, interrupts vowing she's back and better than ever, and she's ready for the Royal Rumble. So number one person who is introducing themselves in the Royal Rumble rather than leaving it a surprise. I know, man. It just really irritates me because that's the whole thing about the Royal Rumble. It's supposed to add some shock and awe value, and I feel like it's getting taken away with everybody announcing that they're going to be in the Royal Rumble. We're just going to get those few Hall of Famers, I think that's it, and maybe some NXT stars. But other than that, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of pissed off, but Sasha slaps the queen as all women kind of brawl, and that was the end of it, but kind of useless. But I, I see what they were trying to do. But uh, moving next, we have Ricochet and Cesaro, who actually take on Ridge Holland and Sheamus. With Sheamus playing um, around with Cesaro, teasing a swing as Cesaro usually swings. Holland tags in and hits a northern grit for the win. So, cool. I'm kind of happy to see the heels take a win over the faces. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like this was just a good filler match. All these competitors compete very well in the ring. And, uh, you know, I don't mind seeing it. Yeah. Um, so, this was kind of funny. So, what happened next? Sonya Deville. So, she was in the back ordering a ref to help her secure a win tonight against Naomi. So that kind of um, backstage figure looking for a cheap way to get out of a match tonight as Naomi actually creeps up on her in the back. And the match actually happens next, but Naomi delivering a moonsault for the win. And then um, Sonya Deville heading to the back, yelling at the official saying, you know, you're supposed to have the match go my way, but Naomi then cutting a promo and then Deville kind of reappears from Gorilla and saying she's entering the match at the Royal Rumble. So that's person, I think, number two, who just automatically puts themselves in the Royal Rumble. Leave I mean, it a surprise, man. Yeah, exactly. It's pissing me off. It really is. I like this rivalry between Sonya Deville and Naomi, though. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see what happens between them two at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Um, so... Next is in Zane. Um, he was oh, man. Man, Sammy Zane, just blabbering about Johnny Knoxville, rather his guests, Jinder Mahal and Shanky. I guess he's in love with Johnny Knoxville, but with um, Rick Boogs interrupting, then slowly ushering the arrival of Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. They attack the heels, of course, looking tall as we crash to a commercial. So we come back, impromptu tag team match, Boogs and Shinsuke versus Mahal and Shanky. I was happy to see Nakamura back in action, dude. You know, with Boogs getting the win for the team, I'm happy to see Nakamura um, back from, I think it was injury. So I'm happy to see him, uh, you know, back in that squared circle, kicking some ass. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think they announced that on Instagram a few hours before the show. And let me know if you've heard this before. He announced himself for the Royal Rumble on Instagram. So another one spoiled. It's going to keep quiet. I, I, I just don't know what WWE is doing, but whatever. We're just going to keep moving forward. Guarantee before the Royal Rumble tonight, they're going to start to do some more people on social media. Oh, I'm cool. just going to ignore it. I'm going to keep my phone on. Do not disturb. But uh, <laughs> what we have next is the new day. I think it's Biggie and Kofi Kingston taking on Madcap Moss and Happy Corbin. Kind of more filler. New day um, offending the heels who take a show first. Biggie and then Kingston hitting a midnight hour for the win. So nothing special here. The face is getting a win over the heels. I'm happy to see the new day gain victory again. Yeah, man, the New Day is just a great tag team, and they always put over other tag teams. I could see them going after those SmackDown tag team titles again and making a charge to get that more dominant reign. 
I could too. I wouldn't be uh, surprised if they do get those titles again. But um, speaking of title on the line now, we have Roman and Seth's face-to-face-off confrontation. Um, Rollins heating up the Universal Champion, bringing up their past, of course, with the Shield. A little bit of that Mox angle that he gave. Um, I think the crowd liked that. Just pissing off Roman even more. Roman eventually going for a Superman punch. Rollins actually dodges and laughs heading up the ramp with Roman in anger watching from the ring. So that laugh from Seth Rollins, that evil laugh, Roman Reigns all pissed off in the ring. He's really got in Roman's head. And I like the way that they closed um, SmackDown with those two. Oh, I totally agree with you. And I think we're going to have a new Universal Champion. I must know, Matt, before we close this video up, Who's going to be your men's Royal Rumble winner and your women's Royal Rumble winner? So I've been thinking big E for men's, but I don't know. That's kind of changing. You know, it, it really is. But I'm going to just stick to my gut, big E, and then women's, we're going to have Sasha Banks. I've been changing it, but you know what? I think Sasha Banks, women's, and then big E men's. Oh, dude, I heard some strong rumblings that Ronda Rousey might be returning. I think that's going to change my vote for the Women's Royal Rumble from Alexa Bliss to Ronda Rousey if she returns. And I think, I think that we're going to see Xavier Woods win the Royal Rumble. I'm throwing a wild card in there. I feel that. He's got to get a championship win soon. So it's Kofi and Big E who have both won WWE championships. Xavier Woods not. So he's got to get on that, on that ride. Yeah, man, got to get some wins for King Xavier. We will let you guys know what we think about the Royal Rumble, and I hope you guys enjoyed Friday Night SmackDown. We will have a video recapping the Royal Rumble for you guys, I think, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Year three, Cosmat, going strong. Peace out, baby. Come on and fight!